Hello, El Guanacaste. It's Pastor Nick from Calvary Church in Edina, Minnesota, sending you our love and our greetings. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, to the Christian Forum Church in El Guanacaste. Uh, a greeting to Pastor Modesto and Denya, and greetings to the entire community of El Guanacaste. We love you and we miss you so much. We have been so disappointed that we have not been able to visit you these past couple of years, and we hope and pray that God will give us uh, the opportunity to come and visit your community very soon. In the meantime, I wanted to send you a greeting on behalf of my church to let you know that we as a, a covenant community have not forgotten about you. We have not stopped praying for you. We have not stopped thinking about you and your community. And we certainly have not stopped in our desire to continue our partnership in the gospel with you. And so a big part of my message today is to send you a greeting and to, uh, and to send a message to you to be rest assured of our love and our prayers for you and our desire uh, to come and to visit you again very soon. Uh, but I also wanted to take a moment uh, to send you a message about what we're doing here at Calvary Church uh, right now, this fall, we are studying the seven churches of Revelation. In Revelation chapter 2 and 3, Jesus gives messages to seven different churches uh, in what is mo in modern-day Turkey. And we've been week by week going through these different messages to the seven different churches. And uh, there's just one part of those messages that I wanted to share with you. This is Revelation 2 verses 8 and 9 where Jesus shares a message with the church in Smyrna. And Jesus says to them, These are the words of him who is the first and the last, who died and came to life again. I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. And what I love about what Jesus is saying in this passage is that he is saying that there is somehow, amidst physical suffering and physical affliction and physical poverty, somehow because of him, there is at the same time some kind of spiritual wealth. That because Jesus died and rose again, uh, because he suffered for us, because he was afflicted for us, because he conquered sin and death, because of the message of the gospel, somehow at the same time, there is some kind of wealth, spiritual wealth, even where there is physical poverty and suffering. There is healing where there is affliction. There is power where there is weakness. There is glory where there is agony. And there is life where there is death. So despite the struggles of this past year, despite various challenges and difficulties, uh, we have, as a church, we have experienced this to be true. And our hope and prayer as a church is that even in your affliction, even in your suffering, even in your poverty, even in your struggle and difficulty, that you are experiencing the power, the healing, the strength, the life, the glory, and the riches of Jesus Christ. El Guanacaste, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. El Guanacaste, may the Lord be with you.